In Peru, government officials have been searching for ways to improve the health of children among the rural poor. But some are questioning whether those efforts have gone too far. For example, some accuse the jailed former president of Peru, Alberto Fujimori, and some of his ministers of leading the forced sterilization of thousands of indigenous women. The inquiry has officially been closed, but lawyers are pressing for it to be reopened. CCTV's Dan Collins has more. The long walk to justice. These are just a handful of the more than 2,000 Peruvian women who say they were forcibly sterilized in the late 1990s. But last month, their legal case against the jailed former leader Alberto Fujimori and his ministers was shelved by a prosecutor in this building. More than 15 years have passed, but the hurt and outrage have not. It's as if our bodies are dead. There's no affection from our husbands. Sometimes they hit us because they say we're no good for anything. That's the suffering we have to bear. Concepcion says she was sterilized against her will after giving birth to her third child. She and many others suffer ongoing health problems as a result. Speaking in her native Quechua, Guillermina Huaman tells how she was three months pregnant when medics aborted her unborn child during a routine checkup. These women tell stories of how they were coerced, tricked, and in many cases forced to be surgically sterilized against their will. All of them have traveled long distances from villages in remote parts of the Andes to come here to the capital to demand justice. After interviewing hundreds of affected women, the prosecutor said he found no evidence they were systematically coerced into being sterilized. But Ilaria Supa, a representative of the regional Andean parliament, says state attorneys assured her they would reopen the investigation. They said they would exterminate poverty, but instead they exterminated the right to life of these women. The closure of the case outraged human rights groups. Former health minister in the Fujimori government, Alejandro Aguinaga, told CCTV the operations were consensual, but refused to speak on the record. All we want is a lawsuit, so these women can bring their cases to trial and hear that a crime was committed against them. Legal avenues have not been exhausted. These women may yet have their day in court. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.